Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Did you know that Rupia Banda once ruled Namibia? Rupia Banda was indeed a solid diplomat with vast experience of managing conflicts and running countries. The man possesses such an admirable CV, but he was humble. Unlike some people, never boasts about it. Why don't people like Arabi write autobiographies or just memoirs? How many Zambians know that Mr. Banda was in charge of Namibia for many years while the liberation movement of that country, Swapo, led by Sam Nujoma, battled colonialists in the bush? The United Nations Council for South West Africa, later renamed the Council for Namibia, was established in 1967 as the legal administering authority for the territory until independence. The UN had terminated South Africa's mandate over Namibia in 1966. In 1971, the International Court of Justice ruled that the continued presence of South Africa in Namibia was illegal and as a result, South Africa was under obligation to withdraw its administration from Namibia immediately and thus put an end to its occupation of the territory. But South Africa refused to withdraw and Swapo had to continue its struggle for independence. For many years, Rupia Banda was the president of that United Nations Council on Namibia, which was effectively the government of Namibia, while the matter of South Africa's disputed mandate over the territory was being resolved. The council was dissolved in 1990, following the independence of Namibia. All activities in Namibia that time had to be authorized by RB. On May 23, 1975, Mr. Rupia Banda had this to say. The United Nations Council for Namibia would like to seize this opportunity on African Liberation Day to pay special tribute to those African patriots who have paid with their lives in the struggle for freedom in Angola, in Guinea, Bissau, in Mozambique, and indeed in other areas where the struggle has been particularly adverse and the sacrifices have been particularly high. The strength of the freedom fighters in those African countries deserves our total admiration. Indeed, the recent victories that have been achieved in Angola, Guinea, Bissau, and Mozambique, and elsewhere, have shaken the very foundation of colonialism and satellite imperialism in Southern Africa. It is through these victories and the stalwart struggle of the liberation movement in Zimbabwe, in Namibia, and in South Africa itself, that the end of the long road to total freedom has been brought measurably nearer. The time has come for the minority regimes in Southern Africa to realize that the freedom of the African majority in Zimbabwe, in Namibia, and in South Africa cannot be suppressed for much longer. The international community should now more than ever before exert pressure so that the minority regimes will transfer power to the indigenous majorities. Nothing short of that can be acceptable. Yet Arabim rarely talks about such huge assignments and the responsibilities he has undertaken. He was a humble soul. May his soul rest in peace. More news to come my lovely viewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.